Hello guys, it's me, GJP3966. Today's video, I'm recreating this beautiful cut crease nude look for y'all. For this look, I had to use two palettes, but I had used only the second palette for my outer, like my inner, what do you call it? I forgot what they call it. The outer corner, the inner corner, for my inner corner eyelid. Ugh. And I used the Hue palette, and in this have new the blah, 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 the Hue palette. I've used um, this color for my inner corner highlight, as you can see, because I feel like this is beautiful for like highlight or anything. So that I only use this for that. But then that you don't really need this just yet. That's for later on in the video. But for this whole entire video, we're gonna be using Maybelline New York Art of Rose. So mysterious. I love it because this is like new, like right here. It's really sexy. I feel it. Anyway, if you want to recreate this look with me, then please keep on watching. And please don't forget at the end of this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. Thank you. Shall we get started? I almost forgot to introduce this product. We're using this to cut the crease. This is BB cream. Uh, it's not concealer, but we're going to use it as so. So, grabbing and dipping into the Maybelline New York Art of Rose palette, you're going to want to open it. I have acrylics on as you can see. And you want to use this. Ooh, you can't see it. It's like a dark, um, it's like a black almost, beautiful like rose for like to start the outer V and like up here. So, dipping into that color right here. You're just gonna start stamping it on, or basically brushing it, either way. I like to do this, this is quicker. And you wanna bring it in the nose region, because once you contour your nose, it's gonna look more snatched. I'm so weird when I do, like, eyeshadow up here, because I like, Circle it, then I just go, mm -mm -mm, and then I go circle it, and then it's just weird. And then I stamp it, and then you're just like, okay, so what are we doing, stamping or something? And I just leave it out. Now, sorry for the background noise, but anyway. I'm gonna start wringing this color out. Now, once you've winged it out, what I did was, did this. I connected it. Like that, to give it more of like, the beautiful, like you'll see at the end, like, and once we start mixing all the colors together, it's gonna really like, blend out. Um, but I really like this color. Um, yes, when we're done, because it's so pitch black, we're gonna be blending it out with a different brush to like really like smoke this color out. For the brush I'm gonna be using to blend out and smoke it out is this type of brush. And no, it does not have a name. And you can stamp, rub, do whatever I'm doing. You can do whatever you prefer. I like to do this because it's quicker and it really like blends it out. And this, you can see, it really like blends it out more. And I'm, I didn't even grab any extra color. I, it's like a clean brush and I just started rubbing to like really blend it out. And then you should get something like, like this, okay? And once you got something like this, the next color we're gonna be dipping our toes into. Oh, you're gonna, I'm using a paintbrush. You can use whatever you prefer. Um, I'm gonna be something small like this, and then to for our in for like our increase, I'm gonna be using these two colors. But first, this color. Make sure you really 
because this is like a paintbrush i really need to go in there a couple times so i know i forgot english again so i grab a lot because i have to make sure i have plenty on my brush because this is a paintbrush then i grab separate and i just bring out to the outer v and swipe it down and it really like nudes out the darkness of the outer v and i like that and that's you want nude so that's what you want to like blend it out i'm grabbing another the same exact paintbrush but like clean you know i'm not grabbing dipping the eyeshadow i'm just plain and clean and i'm just like rubbing and blending it all in like so Scratch the outer V. Like so. And if you excuse me, I'll be right back. Sorry for the inconvenience, I'm back. Um, now once you blend that out, the second color. We're gonna be dipping. Jeez, I'm gonna break these up real quick. Ooh, I look like a mad person right now. But anyway, this second color, sorry, distractions. Second color, it's this one, like so. Taking that in your small blending brush and just doing this. You really want to get that crease nice and nude and smoked out. Don't worry if you have like any fallout because you're gonna be taking out or V and like clean. You're gonna like cut it and clean it. Oh, by the way guys, there's barely any fallout. As you can see, um, once we do the, our under eyes, there will be some fallout. But other than that, you should be fine. Sorry for that. To blend it out, I'm grabbing a, no, the same, same exact thing. So if we did for the other part, it's brand, it's same thing. Just blending it out. Okay, so you get something like this. And, oh, I'm fucking crying. Now, to like darken the outer V, which you always want, did it back into the first color that we did. And just carefully, Bring out the outer V and just redoing the outer V. Now, since you've done that, put this to the side, grab your BB cream or facility, whatever you prefer, and it's time to cut the lid. Literally, at this part, I cannot literally like breathe at all. Now taking this brush, you just want to blend it, blend the BB cream out. Cause this BB cream is not actually concealer. So you really just want to sit there and just tap, 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 tap. You can bleep whatever. Then this is clean. Uh, just like tap, tap, tap. To make sure everything's blend. Now while we're letting that dry, take this brush, clean it. Going back to the Artist Road palette, we're gonna do your under eye while waiting. Going to the first color we used and swiping it for our under eye. And it's very hard to connect. And 
then for the crease, I do the lines. This one. And then you're done. Because we only use like three colors. Now, now since you've done it, it's a little bit fall off. Don't worry, we're going to clean out the end. With this brush, clean it. And then you're going to be dipping our toes into this color here. We're just dabbing it and it's gonna go. Hmm. Oh, wait, right here in the outer V, right here. Taking this color, it's gonna go in the front. Really to connect so it, the two. Just dab this side over here, darken it, especially for the outer V. Then going into the bottom, take this, do your under eye, connect. Like so. Okay. Now this is we're all this is we're all done almost. You're gonna to want to dark green your the first color that we did over here. And darken out the outer V. And bring because we're connecting it, just do this. Heck why not? Then I'm gonna go back and just blend it with a clean brush. Just blending is very important. Okay. Then we're all done with the Artist of Rose Maybelline palette here. Love it. Time for your inner corner, so taking this brush and making sure it's clean, you're gonna grab your Hue palette. Love how it, like, I love the, like, sorry y'all, I cannot speak today. I loving how, like, the palette looks, like the designing, so beautiful, and, like, it looks on the side, it's so pretty. Taking this, we're gonna be using this color here, and just doing our inner corner highlight. I actually did a lot on this side because just to make sure it stays. Okay. Now, once you've done this, you got this type of look, you've completed the look, and we're done with the hoop palette. And then you can go ahead and 